Okay, now our exploration continues underneath. And this being a rear wheel drive Model 3, this is where the front drive unit would go on an all wheel drive. So clearly, Tesla Engineering has made one car, including things like this cross member, to work with both all wheel drive and rear wheel drive. <coughs> Up under here we can see the bottom of the cooling block assembly. We've got uh, two motors that are the pumps, the selector valve, and then the heat exchanger. Barely see it through there. <coughs> bottom of the 12 volt battery. There's the ESP uh, ABS block. The bottom of the iBooster, uh, iBoost 2, whatever it's called, um, electromechanical brake booster. You see that big electric motor, master cylinder above it. <coughs> Here we have the steering rack. That's the AC compressor and its little cocoon housing. Here's the pack where the high voltage wires come out. Those two holes would be where the cables come for the front drive unit if this was all wheel drive. And those two connectors are for the AC compressor and cabin heat. Now, let's take a look in the rear. <coughs> Here we have the drive unit. Got an oil filter for the uh, lubrication oil. That is a hydraulic pump for the cooling or the oil lubrication system. Brushless pump. <coughs> this is the brushless DC motor encoder on the back there. You can see it. Here's the inverter side. You can see the glycol going in. There's the high voltage connector the mounts. You can see where the bus bars connect from the inverter to the motor. <coughs> Suspension in the rear looks like it's all made out of steel links. The parking brake, instead of having a separate caliper, just actuates the service brake caliper. Much smaller stabilizer than in the front. Let's go back. At, oh, some other features. This looks like the fire vent for the pack, one of them. And then I think this thing is the uh, water drain. Should the pack become flooded somehow, either through a glycol leak or maybe a cracked pack and water goes in there. That's supposed to pop open and allow water to drain. There's another one of those on this side. See it up in there. The other fire vent. Let's go back up to the front, look at the suspension. <coughs> Very similar to uh, Model S in design. Obviously they're not going to use these same struts on an all-wheel drive car because the CV would have to go right through it. You can see from here. So they'll use a strut with a dodge on the bottom. Massive stabilizer. Relatively short m moment there, so that's probably why. Dual piston calipers there. Interestingly, 
That top suspension arm looks like it's some sort of FRP fiber reinforced plastic. Um, first time I've seen a plastic one on a car before. Uh, it's uh, just mild stamped steel on the S. So I guess, I guess if small, uh, I mean there's not much force on it. So we'll see how time tells on that. See the cooling fan for the uh, radiator and condenser. Nice sculpted blades that are probably engineered for quiet and care has been just balance weights on the blades so they put a lot of care into it. Alright I guess that's about it for the underside exploration. <laughs>